Hi, it's Alex from Groovy Entertainment. Today we got another book to read for you. Today's book is Up the Word Spell from 1991. So let's get started. It, wait, Itty Bitty Spider looked at the big, funny looking cloud gathering overhead. Mr. Solomon's son had overslept. It's going to be a rainy day. Itty piped his high, presently squeaky voice. Be sure to take your raincoat, Itsy, called Mr. Spider. And don't go up the water spout. You might get caught in a downpour. All right, Mom, said Itsy, who was just finishing a delicious stick-to-your-rib breakfast of cobwebs and berries. On his way to school, Itzy noticed that the fur that the fluffy clouds overhead was getting darker and darker. Wake up, Solomon's son, he called. He and his baby sister, Mutsy, always traveled together, and now he squeezed three of his hands wait, three of her hand protectively. Come on, Mitzi. Let's hurry. We don't want to get caught in the storm. Rain isn't exactly present for humans, but for spiders, especially itsy bitsy ones, it can be positively disastrous. Let's take the shortcut up the water spout, said Mitzi. I don't think so, answered Itsy. If the rain caught us in the spout, we'll all be washed away. At that moment, the spider heard a, a mouth way. A moanful little voice calling from the inside the spell. Help me, help me, cried the voice. I'm stuck. My wings are snagged and I can't get out. Tiny Fred Fly was caught halfway up the spell, where his wings were all tangled in something pink and sticky. What should Itsy and Mitzi do? The spell was definitely off limit for spiders on a cloudy day, but no self respected spider could have leave could have leave a friend dangling in a water bubble them. Hold on, Fred, we'll we'll be up there in eight shakes of a leg. So Mitzi and Itsy Bitsy Spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain, which was the worst possible thing that could happen. Itsy had just untangled Fred Fly wings and were gently lowered, lowering him down the spout on a fine silky thread when whoosh, the whole tunnel was washed with water and slop down the spout slid Itsy, Mitzi, and Fred. Flash! Itsy and Mitzi plopped into a muddy puddle underneath the spout. That was fun, said Fred, flying and buzzing above their head. Stop the rain. We'll be washed out to sea. Puffed Itsy. Glump. Glump. Missy struggled to stay afloat. Fred Fly knew only one fellow who could chase the cloud away, but Solomon's son was still at home, snoring in bed. Up, up, and away, through Fred. Straight to, wait, straight to home of Solomon's son. Wake up, Buzz. Buzz it, Fred like a tingling alarm clock. Solomon's left eye popped open, his right eye popped open. Then he snorted and coughed like a wheezy old lawnmower trying to start up. Oh my goodness, I'm late for work, he cried. So out came the sun and dried up all the rain, and itsy bitsy and mitsy spider went up the spout again just in time to go to school. You soggy spiders, you are drenched, said their teacher, who had been very worried. Didn't I tell you not to climb the spout on a rainy day? Fred Fly stepped mercifully forward. Don't blame them, Mrs. Cricket. They were saving me. In that case, said Miss Cricket proudly, you should, you should each be rewarded with toffee. Itsy, Mitzi, and Fred didn't know whether to be happy or sad, Near, never having heard 
of our taffy, but the treats turned out to be sweet and delicious, so they stripped them up and happily shared the rest with their friends. And after his exciting day was over, Itsy wrote a song about it, and this is how it went. The Itsy Bitsy Spider went up the water spout, down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain, and the Itsy Bitsy Spider went up the spout again. So that was Up the Water Spout for 1991. If you like, subscribe, share, and comment. Have a good every day. We'll have another video coming out real soon.